For the first year students, the marathon midterm exam is finally behind them. Now it's time to get their hands dirty. Are you ready for your lab? Are you still in post-traumatic stress syndrome? Yes. yes. <laughs> We're gonna look back fondly at the head and neck, which is so last week. <laughs> So this will be easy for you. So let's divide into, into exam groups and use anybody except Symphonia. Okay, grab your ponies. The purpose of today's lab is to examine the head and neck of a horse. It's nice to have a lab coming out of the test. I think that is relaxing and it reminds us why we took that test and why we want to be vets. Do you know this one's name? Uh, what's her name? Palooza. Today, the first years must learn to hold their tongues, their horse's tongue, in order to examine the inside of its mouth. So that diastema is the place in the horse's mouth that doesn't have a teeth. So no teeth. See? And if you put your hand right in there, there's no way he can bite you. Open. Good girl. But it's just weird to put your hand inside a mouth. <laughs> it's so slimy. She's got to grab onto it. It's yeah, pretty grabbing big. Grabbing is weird because she pulls it up. The horse tongue was not easy to catch because she'll just pull it out. Come on. Can I try? Of course. Hiya, Buck. <laughs> yeah, Hi. I'll grab it and she'll like pull it up. Hi. All right, so this is your diastema. Hi. Hi. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the horse mouth does not scare me. I shadowed a bunch of vets from an equine practice, and one of the things I had to do on a couple of those dentals was hold their tongue. Yeah, uh, I don't want to lose a finger here. Yeah. There you go. There it is. I don't really have a big horse background. I got to shadow a only equine vet. I love the large animal stuff, and I think that probably appeals to the football player in me, the active person. What? Okay, now I'm gonna try. The moment of truth. Eat, eat. Got it. Good girl. 